Uncle Joe here for another unboxing or let me say unbagging videos and unbagging and unboxing videos are the beauty pageants of war games and I haven't done one of these in a while so when I received this in the mail I was very excited because it's about a topic that is interesting and out of the ordinary not a bulge or d-day game this is strategy and tactics number 332 and this features 30 years wars decisive battles two battles of the 30 years war and of course the magazine is substantial as you can see it has a historical article written by Joe Miranda on the 30 years war the battles of Lutter and Whitstock and those are the two battles featured here you can see that the magazine is lavishly illustrated and the article has a few pages actually organization tactics and here we have the rule book the design is originally by SPI, so I think these are two of SPI's uh, 30 Years Wars games that came in a quad pack. Uh, I've uh, spoke to uh, people that work with uh, Strategy and Tactics magazine and they have changed their approach to playtesting and uh, I think their games have improved in quality as by for the feedback that I've received by other people and the ones that I've seen myself. Here we see illustrations of the counters. It's your basic uh, combat and movement uh, rating. This one has leaders. And the rule book comes in and I believe it's gonna be around 16 pages. Here we have the uh, last page of the rules but I can't see the number okay page 12 is the last page of the rules and then we see the uh, scenario information from Luther August 1626 we have uh, Wittstock so this is the other scenario and you have some tables and of course you can uh, detach the rule book and the article continues so it's a pretty substantial article and of course there's other articles like Alexander the Great and uh, we have here forward to the Moose the Panzerlehr division in the Battle of the Bulge so you see the Battle of the Bulge shows up in one way or another like D-Day everywhere that wargaming board wargaming is related nice illustrations and of course we have an ad for a Bulge game the arms race in the Maghreb so this is more uh, close to the uh, our present era so you have the did you know section so it's very well illustrated I'm very pleased by the direction that strategy and tactics has been going now that modern uh, war is not being published I think they have more time to focus on the quality of the uh, publications and I think that's showing now here's the counter sheet and decision counters used to be very thin some games have improved the thickness and this is one of them where the thickness is pretty substantial these are five eighths of an inch counters here we see the imperial forces you see there uh, Tilly Kronberg Anhalt and you have see the infantry cavalry have these big units here then we have the Danes with Christian and the other leaders in red. And on this side, we have the Imperial forces. Uh, see Hatzfeld, George Marracino, and I think Wallenstein is at least, uh, see a unit there with his name. And here we see the Swedes under banner and Torstenson, Torstenson. Swedes in blue so the counters look very well done nice quality now let's open up the map so here we see the map it's a standard 22 by 34 inch paper map 
and we have the uh, maps for each of the battles here on the right hand side we see the map for Luther and we can see there the terrain features the map artist is Joseph Yost who uh, has become one of my favorite uh, map artists I really like his maps uh, of course you can see those maps mostly in the magazine games published by uh, Decision Games Press they're very nicely done and here the map is very nice and also very easy to understand. You have woods, you have a ridge hex sides, you have some streams, you have some bridges, we have there uh, some towns and forts. We have Luther Castle there. So this is one half of the map. We have some tables on the map that we can see here, like the combat results table. It's odds based. And there's also a, an artillery bombardment table. We have a terrain key. There's also an explanation of the combat results here. And on the left side here, we see the terrain effects chart effects on movement and line of sight and combat and then there's some tracks here for looter got a turn record track demoralization level so we keep track of that there and on the other side same thing for the uh, I believe this would be the imperial side and I believe that section would be used by both games since they're based on the same system. Now let's take a look at the map for Wittstock. And this one has uh, interesting uh, fortifications here on a ridge. And uh, we see more woods. And uh, this is dominated by this ridge that runs from north to more than the middle of the map. There's another ridge here with another town and forest terrain. And what I like about the map is that the hexes are very big. For example, here I have a sample counter and uh, let's place it in one of the hexes so you can see that they fit there comfortably. So you can see. And uh, I like that because you can see the terrain feature and it's surroundings you don't have to lift up counters to see uh, what's beneath it so they rest comfortably there and it's always good and uh, you know there's some tables in the rules which obviously by placing tables on player aids outside of the map and in the rules you can expand the map and make the hexes larger so this is decisive battles of the 30 years war and this is strategy and tactics number 332 the issue for january february 2022 and this is stuka joe signing off for now thanks for watching